to me, I'd rather look at the sea over the city instead of living right on the beach. I know that's everybody's sort of fantasy to wake up and open the windows and see the waves. But I love seeing the city and then the sea. It reminds me that we're right down here at the bottom of the world. You know, in another life, I think I'd love to be a graphic designer. I'm inspired by color. These are actually all a range of colors from a spray paint manufacturer. I found it in a sort of skateboard graffiti shop. The boldness of, of this woman's hot pink bag and you know, look at, the, look at the pattern on that. I love their attitude, the way they sort of look at me like, you know, why wouldn't you want to take a photograph of me? Camera. I get what I call visually greedy when you just want to, to sort of photograph everything. <laughs> I've spent quite a lot of time living in London and in the States where the high street has become a lot more homogenized. You see the same brand names everywhere. When I came back to South Africa, what stood out for me on the streets was how individual they were. A lot of the signs, a lot of the barbershop posters, window dressing, it's all done by hand. It's very bright, it's very bold, and it sort of jumps out at you. I love the fact that walking down the streets in South Africa I would see the most amazing African fabrics, color and pattern and print. I started photographing the sort of menu graphics and typical South African menus on walls, bunny chows and fat cooked curries, and put them on a range of placements. It seemed to make sense to me to sort of have this typical South African food on a, on a range of, of placements. And that kind of began this, this idea of how to use imagery on products. I really respond to a sense of humor in design and creativity in South Africa. There's often a real lightness to it. It's not always design that takes itself incredibly seriously. I think it's because we have so much going on in this country and sometimes you need to laugh. You really need to just kind of laugh at what's out there. There's the man who, whose stuff I wanted to photograph. See how he's used those grills to display his butternuts. <laughs> I think what makes it special for me is probably the energy. The energy of South Africa. To me, it feels like a place where you can make ideas happen. 